Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm with somebody you know pretty well. Jen's Ice Glimmer. Glimmer has got a special day coming up tomorrow. Tomorrow is Jen's Ice Glimmer's birthday. He'll be 17 years old, August 20th, 2021. He was born August 20th, 2004. The first 11 years of his life were pretty much a living hell. He was started off under saddle at a young age and then he was in the Big Lick Animal Cruelty Gulag for nine years. He never got out of a stall. He wore nearly eight pound stacks. He was shown more than 40 times over five states in nine years. He was even soared at MTSU, that's Middle Tennessee State University. That's the largest uh, pop, uh, enrollment university of any university in the state of Tennessee. That's in Murfreesboro, Tennessee. Glimmer was rescued uh, on July 28, 2015, I got a text message and a photo from Miss Tawny Preissner. It showed Glimmer's scarred feet. I said, where are you? She says, I'm at an auction sale. I said, what am I looking at? She said, this is a Big Lake Tennessee walking horse. What should we do? I said, we buy him. I put up half the money. She put up half the money. And instead of going on a slaughter trailer to Mexico, which was waiting right behind the auction, Jen's Ice Glimmer was brought to a new life. He has since told the story about the Big Lick animal cruelty, and oh boy, has he ever told it. No, no video showed up. We've been at the Citizens Campaign, been getting these videos and pictures at horse shows. They took those pictures, and they took Glimmer, and they told a story. They told his story. It's what soaring does to horses. That video has been seen more than almost 17 million times. Uh, Channel 4 TV in Nashville, WSMB, uh, award-winning reporter, uh, Miss Nancy Amons, came out with a crew and they saw a glimmer and a brave veterinarian, Dr. Tom James, stood beside him and confirmed that this was a sword Tennessee walking horse. In the past, they've always denied these horses exist, but glimmer, uh, we got his Tweba number, we got his blood type, there's no question. And one more time, he was five states, nine years, more than 40 times. He was the real deal. Since then, he's told the complete story. The Citizens Campaign has advocated all over the South and also primarily in Tennessee. And we're here now and the public has pretty much said, we've had enough of this. It's gonna be boycott time in Tennessee. There used to be a football announcer named John Ward. Uh, he's a TU team's football announcer, the Tennessee Balls. Every year he used to say, it's football time in Tennessee. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it's now boycott time in Tennessee. And the citizens of the great state of Tennessee are not attending the Tennessee Walking Horse celebration anymore. Uh, uh, we ended the horse show in Jackson, Mississippi at the Children's Hospital was receiving $50,000 because they didn't want any money from animal cruelty. They ended the show in Panama City Beach, that's a destination tourism resort. They didn't want animal cruelty down there any, either more. Then we also ended the horse show with persistent protest in Tunica, Mississippi, over along the Mississippi River, the Tennessee Walking Horse Celebration would have that at the end of the year to go to Gold Strike Casino and gamble and go show horses at night. We ended that one too. They're not gonna have that this year after a multi-year protest. This year, we've been uh, at Philadelphia, Mississippi, Humboldt, Tennessee. We've got video footage from the Spring Fun Show put on about the celebration. Columbia, Tennessee, Woodbury, Tennessee. And here we're coming back. Next week, we're gonna be in Shelbyville for the seventh straight year. Uh, seven years. Now, the public in Tennessee seen enough. Social media has told the story. Jen's Ice Glimmer story has been told. Newspaper ads, word of mouth, social media. The public has turned it off. There's no more uh, any respectability or legitimacy. The citizens in Shelbyville are to be commended. They are silently boycotting this event. There's some in Shelbyville that make their money off of it. They're still in it. But, you know, they know there's an end of the road. We've just got to persist. Now we got a problem in DC. They, we got a 333 to 96 vote. Gen Z Glimmer stacks were taken on the floor of the United States House of Representatives on July 25, 2019. Uh, it was an amazing time, an amazing event. Uh, Congressman Yoho from Florida says, you're the four animal cruelty or against it. Bipartisan landslide historic vote, 333 to 96. Majority of Republicans, majority of Democrats voted to uh, abolish the big lick. All right, it got over to the Senate and we have a filibuster situation and 
couldn't get the law finalized, but uh, here we are in 2021. The Citizens Campaign is resolute. We're day to day, month to month, year to year, and we're gonna wind this up. We are winding it up. Support us at the celebration. Uh, support this old boy here. Uh, he's with it all the way. We're gonna tell this story and we're gonna end it. Uh, and it's being ended as, we, as I speak. We the people, Coblock, Citizens Campaign Against Big Lick Animal Cruelty. Thank you so much.